Let's look at how to get a linear trend forecast in Excel. I have time periods in the first column, the actual values, and then we'll build the forecast in the third column. I'm going to first insert a line chart by selecting the column and going to insert, choose the line chart. I happen to like the one with markers. Now I can insert the trend line equation on the chart, select the line with the left mouse button, right click, add trend line. The format trend line menu opens, scroll down until you find display equation on chart. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now this equation, y equals 0.1x plus 60.1, when we're using forecasting the y is actually our forecast time period, so f sub t, and x is t, the time period. So we'll come over to the forecast column and we'll say equals 0.1 times the time period, which is our variable t, plus 60.1. So this 60.2 would correspond to period 1's forecast. Now I can drag it down the column, and period 5's forecast would be 60.6. .6. And if I did period 6, Excel has enough intelligence to actually go ahead and make that forecast pop down into the next cell down. 7 does the same thing. You can see that if we plot these values, so I'm selecting the forecast column and saying insert, and now I'll do a new line chart, it's a straight line. This is the forecast line that's based on the equation that we've been using for the linear trend. It looks nothing like our actual values because we have very little trend in this line, and yet it does still find a trend equation for us, the equation which is the best fit for this set of actual data. And that's how you do linear trend in Excel.